Welcome to Natural North Florida, home to the world's largest collection of first magnitude springs, historical charming towns and Gulf Coast adventures. This region of Florida is where you can find plenty of serenity, solitude and nature. It moves at an unhurried pace and a place where nature is your theme park. And we spent a week travelling through this region on a road trip in partnership with Visit Florida and Visit Natural North Florida. And in this video, we're going to share with you the fun adventures we had together as a family and the highlights. The Swanee River stretches 246 miles from southern Georgia to the Gulf of Mexico. And we're starting our explorations of the region where it runs through in the Swanee River State Park, where there are lots of hiking trails and fishing and kayaking. Now we're gonna go and check out some springs, so come with us as we do. Oh, we're at Madison Blue Springs State Park, a world-renowned diving uh, place in the Cape like system, voted number one swimming hole in the US. And when it's 90 plus Fahrenheit outside, it's a very refreshing place to come and take a drink. staying at the Spirit of the Swanee Music Park. It's about 10 minutes north of the town of Live Oak and gives you great access to the Swanee River Wilderness Trail. This place is massive and they often have music festivals here. You can camp, you can park your RV here or stay in a cabin as we're doing and it's right on the Swanee River so you get lots of access to that and it's just beautiful with all these live oak trees with the Spanish moss dri dripping we found uh, hidden ponds and even trolls in the woods. For an old style Florida Island experience head to Cedar Keys, a fishing village famous for clams and clean water waiting to spoil you with spectacular sunsets, delicious seafood and kayaking adventures. You can paddle to the nearby island of Sea Neota which was once Cedar Keys before a hurricane wiped it out. You can see the remnants of the old pencil factory and walk deep into the island to the old cemetery. Scalloping! Alright, we're going to check out some river life at Steen Hatchie. We're going to do some scalloping, hopefully see some manatees right near our Fiddler's Motel. We're going to check out the famous sunset at Roy's Restaurant, maybe do a bit of kayaking and just see what else is going on. We're going to ask the locals because they've always got the best tips, but yeah. Beautiful scenery. Okay, we are on the boat with Captain Mike. So he's the charter captain. So you can um, rent out the boat with Captain Mike and go out and explore the area. So we're going scalloping because this is a major area in the country for scallops and it's scallops season. So loads of people come to uh, steam hatching to, to go scalloping. We've never done anything like this before. So we're pretty excited. We have our snorkel gear, our costumes and we don't know what to expect. So come with us as we learn all about scalloping. Here we go, Craig. Oh, check out our <laughs> catch of scallops. With the help from Captain Mike. With the help of Captain Mike. <laughs> Collective team effort. Good job, guys. Uh, fresh, as fresh as you can get. Let's go have a barbecue, yeah, hey? Wait. Well, we love farm to table experiences, and right now we're having an ocean to table experience. Wild caught sea scallops with my own hands. We've brought our catch back to the Fiddler Motel Resort where we're staying and they cook them up for you. Absolutely delicious. Taste test. Come on. Mm -hmm. mm. So good you don't need a sauce. Delicious. Mm. 
So North Florida is the place for natural springs and they are cold springs and very refreshing. Just breathe deep, relax into it, you'll start warming up and love the refreshing change from the okay, humid ready. Florida heat. So Wakulla Springs are the world's largest and deepest freshwater springs and they are rimmed by these gorgeous ancient uh, cypress trees which gives it such a ethereal swamp like feel and has made it the backdrop for many Hollywood uh, films like Tarzan and the, cre the creatures from the Black Lagoon. <laughs> it looks beautiful now to enjoy it. You can take uh, boat rides through the swamp. They're not running at the moment because of COVID but if you come outside those times the glass bottom boats gives you a really great look at the sapphire waters of the springs which is filled with manatees and alligators and all kinds of wildlife but there's also the swimming section here too with a really cool diving platform so you can dive into this 70 degree water and cool off and we are staying at the historic lodge here which is right uh, at the edge of the swimming area so it's a really beautiful place to come and stay and get away from it all And when you want something a little warmer to swim in, about 30 to 40 minutes south of um, Wakulla Springs is Alligator Point, beautiful white sand beach on the Gulf Coast, and Shell Island Beach, uh, another place where you can go and have a swim and have the beautiful warm temperatures of the ocean. Monticello is a charming historical town in Jefferson County in natural North Florida. You can explore the historical buildings of downtown, enjoy good local boutique shopping, learn more about the wonderful local businesses like Full Moon Apri who farm bees for honey and local products, Florida Georgia Citrus who grows the delicious Satsuma oranges and the historical Monticello Opera House, the cultural heart of the city. The highlight of Kalara and Savannah's trip was meeting the lemurs and their obsession with eating Savannah's hair. <laughs> lemurs are now their passion project for conservation. For the ultimate adventure in the most beautiful, pristine environment, head to the Wasissa River near charming Monticello. This is one of our favourite US experiences yet. The Wasissa River is a first magnitude clear spring fed stream that's created by around 20 springs at the headwaters. We experienced a thrilling 11 mile airboat ride zipping across the lily beds of the wide and narrow parts of the river, enjoying the wildlife and the stunning jungle canopies of oaks, palmettos and cypress trees dripping with moss. After a picnic lunch, we jumped in kayaks for an adventurous technical paddle of the old slave canal, the tributaries of the Wasissa that join it to the Asilla River. This was like paddling through the swamps of the bayou, complete with alligators. We hope you enjoyed discovering this unique part of Florida. Check the links in the description below for in-depth vlog posts and for other additional videos. Be sure to like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can join us for our next family adventures. Thanks guys! <laughs>